Well, what you have in Zimbabwe now is essentially a crisis of succession. In other words, who's going to be replacing Robert Mugabe, who has been the leader of Zimbabwe since Zimbabwe became Zimbabwe in 1981. And initially, everyone had assumed that the person who was going to be uh, the successor of uh, Mugabe was going to be his vice president who participated in the war of independence with Mugabe and was a friend of Mugabe. Mm -hmm. And that fellow's name is Emerson Magnengua. And Magnengua was a man who was very much connected to the army, to the police, the secret police. And the fact that he participated in the war of independence gave him also a degree of legitimacy. The same thing for uh, Robert Mugabe, who was the leader of the independence movement, ZANU-PF. But Mugabe is getting old. Mugabe is 93. And Mugabe, uh, some 15 years ago, got married to a very young woman by the name of Grace Mugabe. And in the last uh, few months, there was an increasing discussion about what would be the role of Grace Mugabe. And things came to a head last week when uh, uh, the vice president was dismissed by uh, Mugabe. And th that meant that Grace Mugabe had essentially a free uh, road to becoming the next leader of ZANU-PF and eventually the president. And then we've had what is a, in fact a coup but a very peculiar coup. I mean, usually coups are much more violent mm -hmm. and the leader is disposed immediately or sent into exile immediately. But you don't have that in Zimbabwe. It's a very, I don't know how to call it, a relaxed coup because there have been pictures now of Mugabe with the military who are actually detaining him in his own house. Uh, but negotiating, you know, South Africans were there were negotiating too. And the question is what's going to happen? Now, the rumor is that Mugabe is going to be forced out of office. And the question is how do you do that in a more or less constitutional way or also a, 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 a kind of a respectful, if you wish, dismissal of the father of the nation, because mm -hmm. that's what he is. And uh, there are several possibilities. One is that he will stay as a figurehead till at least December when you have the ZANU-PF uh, Congress. Mm -hmm. But the likelihood, once the army has intervened, is that Mugabe is going to lose power, even if he's still in office. Mm -hmm. I don't expect fundamental change. It's probably going to be the same people who are going to run the show. And this is why they are intervening, because they didn't want to be <laughs> forced out. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a zero-sum game between the supporter of uh, uh, Grace uh, Mugabe and the old guard, if you wish. Uh, and uh, the average Zimbabwean probably has some hope because uh, the economy is in a real mess. And uh, uh, the, the opinions about Grace Mugabe are very divided. The assumption is that she's a very cunning, opportunistic, and probably quite corrupt uh, uh, person. Uh, but she was younger, so a new generation could have come up uh, to power, but that's not going to happen. I mean, if mm -hmm. one person has clearly lost, it's Grace Mugabe. Now, uh, Robert Mugabe may maneuver and may persist uh, in, in his negotiations and ultimately have a dignified exit. Mm -hmm. But Grace Mugabe is no longer part of the picture, and, and you can see that in the photos that were distributed this afternoon, she's nowhere to be seen, mm -hmm. in spite of the fact that she has real power within ZANU-PF, so mm -hmm. she was excluded from the negotiations. So, uh, it's a, so I, I don't see a fundamental change, mm -hmm. but it might lead to a, tran a transition that eventually brings about a, a modicum of reforms.